um, yeah, this is my neighborhood from up here. <laughs> Evergreen. This is our house. Yeah, it's our house. So far, I don't know really anyone who lives around us. 80% of everything ever built in North America has been built in the last 50 years. And most of it is brutal, depressing, ugly, unhealthy, and spiritually degrading. It's probably one of the best communities that you can possibly want to live in. It has everything that a young family, middle-aged couple, or seniors could possibly need. These are our electrical boxes. And those, these are the phone boxes. Yeah, those are the neighbors, these are ours. I would never live in a place like this. And I would never live in a place like this because of its various soul-destroying qualities. This is the schedule for the Moss family, and it's all color-coded. At the same time, I don't think that people who do live in places like this are making some type of huge mistake. Brown, I was saying to Ann, I think if you look through that window of that guy's house, and if he had his front door open, I think you can see the mountains, you know, because they're right there. Yeah, anyway, she didn't think it was funny either. People themselves who live in suburbia know backwards and forwards the critique of suburbia, yet they still live in the suburbs. This is Bordeaux. It's a wine, a place in France, and a place in Cranston. Why would you go anywhere else when you can come right here and stop and do all your shopping within minutes of where you live?